Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for spending your valuable time with the ADAPT 2030 channel. Farmers are already reporting price spikes in fertilizers, EU. Money supply growth shrinks, so does the demand for mortgages. Those are intertwined like DNA strands. Mile long lines for food, oh, it's gonna get nasty. Singapore, 30% increase in gold reserves. What do they know with the new BRICS currency? You're gonna hear more of the word about coupon and bonds and treasury bills. It's all electronic now. You used to actually have a paper form to redeem. And as the end game approaches with de-dollarization and the move to BRICS currencies, we might have to start building our own cars like this dude right here. That's self-sufficiency. Now starting off with a moment of zen, it's never too late to look at a picture of Angkor Wat from the air. And if you allow your mind to wander into the rainforest and time eroded temples, consider circuit boards, but at vast scale across the planet. That would equal free power. Okay, forget that. Just look at the bricks, the crash, the bank runs. Because that's truly what it's about. This is the end game to move us over to central bank digital currencies been talked about. So just like it's never a bad moment to look at Anchor Watt from the air, it's never a bad moment to look at the shiny. I see generation, I see dynastic wealth in front of me here. And that's the way we should all be thinking. It's protecting ourselves during this hyperinflationary time. It is upon us. Speaking of bricks, let's do a counter to Swift CPAM. 106 banks and 13 other countries have connected to Iran's financial messaging system known as CPAM. Going right around SWIFT. Imagine that. And digging a little deeper into China, Russia combined raw material production. We're talking about percentage of world supplies of different metals. Anything in yellow, which is now a BRICS-based nation, using the same monetary system, gold-backed currency. 19 metals are over 40% of the global supply. Which makes me wonder, how much are those metals going to cost us, those still using the U.S. dollar as? A hyperinflationary event occurs and also abandonment of the dollar on the same day at the same time. I think that's termed Operation Sandman, which is truly the reset at that point. Nothing's going to go to zero. It's just going to shift. It's going to move. And then a new era will be born. You have to look around the rest of the planet and see what could go through another 70 year development phase, which hasn't yet. As that pendulum swings, the wealth will be milked out of this Western world, quote unquote, sent across the planet and the cycle will begin again. It'll be good for 70 years and then we'll see the same thing play out about 70 years from now, which Strauss and Howe hit it up Four cycles of 20 years, we are at the end of the fourth turning. And as I covered in yesterday's video, talking about the reasons for a lot of these banks losing valuation and government stepping in across the planet to stop bank failures, bonds, you're going to start hearing a lot more about the bonds and they're termed as coupons. Well, the reason is on the left. It used to be a physical piece of paper, redeemable, called a bearer bond. Far back in the day, you had to cut it yourself, but with perforation, you could rip off one of those and go redeem it. And now a quick word from Patriot Gold Group. Have you kept up with the big headlines so far this year? Bank of America says that gold should be a mainstay investment for the next three years. Big banks and billionaires agree on two things. We're heading toward a recession and investors need to buy gold. The Patriot Gold Group is introducing the 2023 Recession Protection No Fee for Life IRA. Mention ADAPT 2030, you're going to get the best in-class service from Patriots Protecting Patriots. Patriot Gold Group has the No Fee for Life IRA where your 401k or IRA can be in physical gold or silver on qualifying rollovers. That's 888-888. 546-7020 to reach out for your free investor guide today. 
Keep in mind, Patriot Gold Group is Consumer Affairs top rated IRA gold dealer six years in a row. That's 888-546-7020. And now on with the video. Actually, when it was due, though, if you redeemed it earlier, there's a penalty with it. Well, that is no longer the case. Everything is electronic form only now. That's from treasurydirect.gov. Minimum purchase, $100. So once you hear about bonds, T-bills, coupons, you're looking at exactly what it used to be in paper form. So moving on, China buys another 25 tons of gold in February. See, the BRICS countries are setting up. They're going to swoop all of the gold out of the Western nations and have a gold-backed currency. That was the whole point of this. And look at Singapore, which will be the epicenter of the new banking across the BRICS world. I'm sure there will be a few other dots as well, but banking behemoths, Singapore, will rule the roost, along with Hong Kong. A lot of gold going into a lot of places at the moment. So when we start talking about contracting economy, the money supply growth is the thing to look at. And this is really the catalyst that has pinballed through everything else that we're seeing. This is just an effect of the cause right here. So everything globally that you're seeing right now with slowdowns and contraction, that's because the money supply has shrunken down into the negatives. And if you go back through to the 1860s, there's only a few times when you see that it has gone negative. But this gargantuan far right where we are, what, 26% straight down to negative two, there's never been a 28% drop that fast ever in the last 150 years. So you have to wonder what's going to go on. Something unusual. But then you'll see the mortgages collapsing right along with that. I mean, you can't have this kind of interest rate and demand for mortgages. Yeah, there's a lot of demand at 2 or 3% for mortgages, but not at 7 or 8%. And everything's hyperinflating away. Building materials, etc. And a shout out to Sean, who I had a chance to talk with one morning when I was picking up a window. And the price had risen since we'd ordered it just a week ago. And he explained, all right, the one you bought prior was the one they already had in stock. Then they had to order a couple windows because we're building a barn and we need some light in there. And he's like, well, when he ordered it, you know, the price was up. And he was saying, you know, everything that keeps coming across the board now is becoming more and more and more expensive where it's not even worth it anymore. You're paying so much over even the value of the products. Now, can you imagine having to build a home on Everything that's just so overvalued at the moment, that's why the demand for mortgages and new home starts is down. So as we progress, they're going to print more and more and more money to keep the banks solvent. That is going to be passed directly on to you in the form of inflation of you paying much more. So for us, you know, we like to drink coffee and if we have people over, you know, it's nice to offer coffee, espresso, whatever, while people are working or visiting. Used to be eight bucks, now it's about 13, but as the inflation will roll through, expect 20 pronto. And it'll be like that for almost every good that you buy. So the next time you visit the store, and probably uh, it's gonna take a, a good two months for this to really start ramping up. But every time you go into the store after that point, two, three, four months from now, like every 30 days you go into the store, you're gonna know substantial difference, like noticeable difference in how much more it's going to cost. Currently estimates are around 3% per month, and if you look at over a whole year, that's 30%. That was at the old rate before this happened, just this week with the runs on the banks. Now, where do you envision it going if another 19 trillion is added to our economy in terms of just printed out of thin air money? And a lot of that dollar base just comes rolling home because nobody wants to hold it. They prefer to cash out and go into something physical, tangible to hold the wealth and store the wealth. But save for your dream home, the picket fence. You know, it's so interesting. I was looking at home prices back in the 1960s. And the down payment for my house, I could have paid off an entire home and had money left over to fill it with furniture, etc. That's how much prices have changed. Now, change from peak in May, June, July 2022. This is off Mishtalk, and each colored dashed line represents a different market. So choose your favorite market and see what the percentage change down is. San Francisco dropping, what, 
in six months that's insane it's like one percent per year max on the averages that's how you store your wealth it doesn't change that much real estate except super contagion which we just entered and you knew the fertilizer was going to be a problem this year because there's even less feedstock for natural gas to go in to produce a fertilizer everything's going to be much more expensive so i have some numbers for you coming out of bulgaria they're looking at a 3x increase to plant and harvest the food compared to just last year and that is probably going to be an average across the planet so you have to ask yourself if the just the input costs are 3x what they were last year how much you think your food price is going to increase just on that alone and remember the inflationary numbers running around with all this extra money printing globally are going to make all of that go up all of it and then when it gets to the final consumer or in the store shelf those companies are going to raise prices again so you're going to get hit left right and center with increasing food prices stagnant wages and runaway inflation everywhere you look so just put that in perspective now you understand that's the problem now what's the solution for that well the awareness of what it's going to happen and how it's going to play out is a very good start then you can start to think about how to protect yourself now that be owning some land some farmland would it be metals would it be tools would it be you know something in the future that could be used on sold traded for something else because at this point right now, it's all about he who loses the most will win during this hyperinflation and then deflation event. Unless you're smack dab in the middle of a BRICS nation, which I know a lot of us that are on the channel here are not, you're going to have to think about protecting your wealth somehow to carry over into the new system. You know, that's going to be different for every single person. But look back through history and see what might fit your needs that was a consistent, sellable, tradable, barterable through history, and you'll get a good list. So that way you could start getting those things together, raw materials or actually a machine or some sort of thing that could help you turn one product into another, one good into another, whatever it would be. There's so many combinations of that, but you're going to need to start thinking this way. We're definitely in the... Further along so quickly, it just ramped up, and then I'm thinking, hmm, that ozone depletion event's coming up in August of this year, August, September, October, November. It'll be a cascading uh, runaway ozone depletion event. Oh, nobody will know what happened. Then they'll tag it to the mesospheric ice crystal clouds, and then they're like, oh, no, the atmosphere has changed too. Southern Hemisphere is not going to be able to grow food. And then that'll be the scare factor that's going to run away because... Really, next year, Southern Hemisphere production is going to be even lower than this year, which will already be 50, 30 to 50% reduced. Let me look at California here, widespread flooding, the Salinas Valley. Uh, the thing that's most affected there, iceberg lettuce, romaine lettuce, and strawberries. So they had several levees break, just an enormous amount of rain, like unbelievable amounts for such a long period. This is just one out of the many arc storms that has pummeled Southern California and the blizzard warnings in San Bernardino, people trapped in the snow prior. It's just, it's an anomaly of the 1000 year event type across that area right now. Needless to say, a lot of crops are lost. Food price will increase on the veg. And then we end up with mile long food lines uh, after the pandemic benefits are ending. So people waiting up to nine hours in mile long lines for food. That is unacceptable in America. I am gonna say, not even one-fifth of one-eighth of one percent acceptable zero percent and here's another thing the average snap uh, recipient which is the ebt card others know it is food assistance expect to drop by about ninety dollars per month and that's going to have a greater reduction effect let's say inflating prices and then the availability of the uh, cards to buy what you need which leads us to the world of ingenuity. And this guy here, I really like this guy's style. He built a mobile vehicle or whatever you like to term that as. That's the way we're all going to need to think. And please join Ransom Godwin and myself tomorrow night, Thursday night, 10 p.m. to midnight, two hours on the go, talking about the very same issues. Revolution Radio Rumble is one of the platforms we stream on. And also, I post this link here, libertylinks.io forward slash solar minimum. These are the eight different platforms that we also stream that same broadcast on, emanating out of Revolution Radio Studio A. Join us there. Chat boards are live. A lot of people communicating, same like minds, sharing ideas. Hope you can join us there. I do appreciate you watching. Hope you got something out of the video. And I'll see you next time.
Bye for now.